tile list is a useful tool for presenting data records in a grid layout, as opposed to the tabular format presented by a data table. In this video, you'll see how a tile list can be used to simulate a front end for an online book catalog. We'll start out by adding a tile list widget to an empty page and renaming the component in the Properties panel. The dimensions define the height and width of the tile. Since the tile will repeat for each data record that flows into it, these dimensions also determine the size of the tile list as a whole. If necessary, we could change the maximum number of rows and columns, but the default settings will work fine for now. We've already created the product's datasheet that we'll use to populate the tile list. Note that we've included images in the datasheet so we can provide a thumbnail for each book in our display. Just like the cells in the data row, the tile needs to contain placeholders to receive the data flowing into it. We'll start with a text widget near the top to display the book title. Right below that, we'll add an image widget that we'll use to display the thumbnail image. Since the widget is a data placeholder, it can remain empty here in Studio. Let's leave some space for the image and then add two more text widgets to the bottom of the tile, one for the author and one for the price. Now for the data flow. First we'll add a get records action to the canvas and then map the fields from the product data sheet to the corresponding placeholders in the tile. Before we do any formatting, let's test the data flow in our browser. The tile repeats for each data record flowing into it. Looking good so far, but it could use a little dressing up. We're going to give the tiles in our tile list the appearance of some padding. To do this, we'll wrap the tile's contents in a section and then apply a background color to the section. Let's test again to see how this looks in our browser. As you can see, not only the contents repeat, but the formatting as well. Tile lists are versatile components for displaying data. Other possible uses include calendars, contact lists, or any other scenario that calls for displaying data in a grid layout. Thanks for watching.